Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be learning about making neem oil based pesticide. So neem oil contains a chemical compound azadiractin. So this compound is very uh, detrimental to the growth of garden pests. So it is very easy to kill these garden pests with the use of neem oil because it helps, uh, it also does not affect the beneficial insects, it only affects the insects that really uh, create havoc in the garden. So let us see how to make a pesticide using neem oil and what are the other ingredients that help in making this pesticide. So we have uh, liquid soap. Uh, so we are using dish soap because it is not very harmful because we obviously use it to clean our dishes. So it is not very chemically rich. Then we have uh, we have a sprayer. So this is a sprayer come a mixer. So I will also tell you how to use this because people do get confused on how to use this particular sprayer. Then obviously we have the neem oil. So you can buy this from any medical shop or... Uh, even garden centers or even your uh, uh, local shops then we uh, need a cup full of lukewarm water and little bit of baking soda so the baking soda will act uh, will, will uh, kind of act in burning uh, the skin of these uh, pests so that uh, you know the entire ingredients are effective so let us first add one tablespoon of neem oil uh, we will add two now mix it but then the uh, you, you can see that uh, oil and water does not mix this is because of a process called um, uh, energetics so this process actually does not allow the molecules of water and oil to mix so what happens is initially there is a mix up but then after some time the oil goes up and remains floating on the surface of water so when you when you stir it it will get mixed but after few seconds you can see the bubbles coming up so to help mix this neem oil as well as water mixture we can use one tablespoon of dishwash soap you will also get an insecticide soap so now you can see it's become milky the solution has become milky it has helped the neem oil and the water mix properly after doing this Let's take some baking soda or baking powder, add maybe half a tablespoon and mix it really well. So the soap also acts in uh, uh, breaking the body of these insects it it uh, creates a dry atmosphere around the skin of these pests and then kills it eventually so soap dishwash soap is really good but if you get an insecticidal soap then uh, you will get that in garden shops or uh, maybe uh, med medicine stores I, I really don't I really don't know but I'm really happy with the dishwash soap so in this one liter can I've taken quarter uh, liter uh, lukewarm water again so I will be mixing this solution into this jug so we can mix it using so what is this 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 is actually a piston so you see here this is actually a piston and we can we can uh, operate it by 
first fixing the cap onto the jug. So this is the nozzle. So you can control the nozzle as and when you like. If you want a linear jet, then release it clockwise. If you want a spraying kind of motion, then release it anti-clockwise or turn it anti-clockwise. And if you turn it anti-clockwise and bring it to a point, then the hole will be shut. So this thing that you see here is a mixer. So once you tighten the cap, you can mix the mixture inside by doing this motion. By pressing this piston up and down, you can mix the mixture inside. Since it is an oil as well as water mixture, you will need to do this at uh, maybe every interval. But then since we've added soap, uh, we can avoid this. But I would suggest that you do this because it's fun. So that is it folks. Try this and uh, please for heaven's sake do not use chemical pesticides because you will be killing all the beneficial insects and butterflies and bees will not come and sit in your garden and that will be a death knell for your garden. So please do not use any chemical compounds, especially in your vegetable garden. Anyway, thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and please keep subscribing to it.